Welcome, welcome back to I need help at Cisco. In this example, we need to find the equation of the circle of center at uh, negative 3 and negative 5 and pass it to 2 and 1. And then we need to find which of these following two points uh, are located on the circle. Uh, I'm going to start with the first part. And for the first part, we're going to need to find this equation. And for finding this equation, we need to find the radius which represents the distance between these two points given to us. And we're going to use the distance formula. And let's say I'm going to call this one point one and this one point two. And that distance will be square root of uh, x2 minus x1 uh, square plus y2 minus y1 square which becomes in our case um, 2 minus negative 3 square plus uh, 1 minus negative 5 squared uh, let's simplify this uh, square root and the first parenthesis 2 minus negative 3 will be 5 so we have 5 square and the second parenthesis 1 minus negative 5 becomes uh, positive 6 6 square so one more step 5 square is 25 6 square is 36 and then we add these two numbers and we get 61. The distance between these two points is 61 and that distance is nothing else than the radius of this circle. And if you notice, we have radius square one more time, which means we have square root of 61. Square, which is 61. So now we can go and write the equation of this circle. We're going to have x minus, and we notice we have this h, which, which in fact is this uh, negative 3. This will be h. And this quantity squared plus y minus and k is negative 5 and again we have square equals radius square which is 61 the last thing i'm going to do here is simplify this expression and we have x plus 3 square plus y plus 5 square and this is 61 this is the equation of the circle with center at negative 3 and uh, passes through the point 2 and 1. And now we're going to move to the second part where we're going to uh, see which of these two following points negative 7 and 0 and 1 and 10 are located on the circle. I'm going to start with the first one and the first coordinate is x, the second coordinate is y, and we're going to plug it in this equation. And that equation becomes negative 7 plus 3 squared plus 0 plus 5 squared equals 61. And I will put a question mark here because I'm going to check if this statement is true. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4 square plus 5 square and again i'm going to put a question mark here i'm going to see if this is equal 61 and this will be 16 plus 25 and again we'll see if this is 61 and in fact now at the end we notice this is 41 which is not equals of 61 so this point is not on the circle and we're going to do the same for the second point which is 1 and 10 and again this is x and this is y and we're going to plug it in this equation one more time so we're going to have 1 plus 3 square plus 10 plus 5 square equals 61 
and that will be 4 square plus 15 square equals 61 again you should put a question mark and that will be 16 plus 225 and that we see is not equal to 61 so this is not also on the circle uh, last thing here in this problem I want you to see the circle we uh, talk about and also you can notice uh, this point is this one and is not on the circle one and then it's somewhere up here and you notice it's not on the circle if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you